folks, it's Gary GSF out on the Africa Twin. Um, just going over to my mother's house uh, to see what she needs done. But, um, got an absolute nightmare with uh, my internet provider TalkTalk. Talk. Um, I asked for an upgrade to the future fibre, 150 megabits per second, and that was okay. Um, First uh, appointment I missed, totally missed, never even phoned me, so I cut in contact back and got a second appointment. So the open reach guy came and he says, I can't ac access your house due to COVID. I says, fine, that's, uh, that's alright, I understand. But in the interim, didn't talk talk uh, remove my line, my normal uh, uh, phone line, the digital phone line. Uh, and uh, with it the fibre broadband. So I have been battling with them to get this uh, reconnected. Now when I go to them, uh, firstly I managed to get it ascertained that it was uh, a cease order put in the line, which was actually to take away the line um, and the number would be allocated to someone else. Uh, and I had that ascertained. Now, the, the next time I went on to see when we were going to reconnect it, they said oh, well, it's, not, it's not, not that, there's uh, a cease order, it's not uh, telecoms terminology, which I was able to find out that it was. Uh, OpenReach actually used the things called cease orders, so, uh, you know, it, it was, uh, was recognised terminology. Uh, and then it says, uh, well, you, you can pay for an engineer to come out. Uh, and uh, I stated, no, there's, there's no need because there's a cease order on the line. And also when you dialed the line, they had what they call an intercept message. And an intercept message is put there when the line has been removed. Normally for non-payment, but um, because this was not non-payment, it was, it was something else, you know. So uh, I went back through. And all I could turn around and tell me to do was uh, sign up for a new contract. I'm not doing that because that means 24 months with the same outfit that are is absolutely messing me about. Um, so uh, I kept on and I've complained, complained. I still haven't got any resolution as yet. Uh, now I've cancelled the the future fibre order due to them messing me about with it uh, because uh, they haven't fulfilled it. So uh, it's cancelled. And now I'm at the stage of uh, trying to get the line reconnected. Again, the last thing that I've had was that the line should be, uh, I should actually apply for a new line. And then again, they tried to ask me to get an engineer sent out. I said, sorry, uh, if the line's okay for me to take up a new contract. It's all right to reconnect again. So it's up to you to reconnect. So um, as it stands, I've told them that uh, they're contracted to me to provide those services until the, uh, August 2021 uh, and they have to fulfill that contract. So I'm still waiting for a complaints manager to come back to me. No one will ever give you time. Uh, no one will ever give you uh, any commitment of when things are going to happen. Uh, I also had a telephone appointment. They'll give you a two hour time slot for a telephone appointment. And it was missed as well. So each day that I'm without out service, I'm, I'm due £8 from them. And this should be automatic. Uh, also, any missed appointment, I should get £25 uh, automatically. So uh, as it stands, uh, all things being equal, um, I should get that, that, that money. Uh, and now I'm down near two weeks uh, all, all without service. So it's... Um, that's the latest for them. Uh, I've involved a website called Resolver, and uh, it's an, uh, uh, an association of money expert, uh, the, the, that, that website, money expert, and also the trading standards. So uh, it's, it's with them, but they don't kick in the after 14 days. Uh, so it's with that. And if I don't, don't get any success, I'm going to get uh, what they call a deadlock letter which then I can bring in their regulator uh, and they can resolve it. But as it stands, uh, talk talk, avoid at all costs. Um, great when everything is working, the service was perfect when everything was working. 
uh, I was getting reasonable speeds and you know very few downtimes with it uh, but uh, with this it's been an absolute nightmare so uh, they, they, they just won't fulfill what, they, what they've said so avoid at all costs talk talk uh, and say uh, <laughs> learn from my experience with them I was told their customer service was poor um, and uh, <laughs> It's, it's more than poor, it's absolutely shocking. So, folks, that's my little rant today. Um, <coughs> oh, excuse me. That's my little rant today. And uh, I'll say that I have no regard for Talk Talk. Uh, and uh, I'll say um, I will post again when I have any some sort of resolution with this. Um, but for now, hope everyone's well, keep well. And hopefully the, this virus is on the on the march and it, it, it's, it's on its way out. And uh, we'll all get back to normal and we can all meet up and have a bit of crack together. But for now, carry it to yourself, sign out. Bye for now.